Welcome, dearies and dudes, to episode one of Civilization VI. My name is Snyderman, and I'm very excited to play this game with you because it's a game that is near and dear to my heart. I've been in love with the Civilization series all the way back to Civilization II. Uh, my uncle was living with us at the time. He introduced me to the games, and I've been absolutely in love with them ever since. So being able to play one of these games right here with you on this channel is like a dream come true. I'm super excited. Make sure that if you are just as excited as I am, if you love this channel as much as I love this channel and bringing it to you, hit the like button, share this video out, and make sure you subscribe. But without any further ado, let's get into some Civilization VI, and here we go welcome all you good people from the introduction we are finally ready to start playing some civ 6 i'm super excited because as i said before i love me some civ they are so so good um a couple things before we get started i am going to be playing with the music turned off at least for now which is a shame because the music on civ games is amazing uh, but I can't remember if any other Let's Plays that I've seen of this have had it turned on or not, and I don't want to get hit with copyright issues. So we're going with the music turned off for now, um, and if we can turn it on later, then we will. But I am also going to be creating my own game where you can uh, choose like your map size and things like that, um, I just like that a little bit better. Maybe in the future we'll do a game where uh, the computer chooses my sieve randomly and just sets all this stuff up randomly. But for now, um, I want to just play this way just to get back into the game, get the feel of it, and really start learning the Switch a little bit better. Um, so there's a couple reasons for that. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, I will be going with... Australia as my sieve. Um, basically, you get 100% bonus to production if they, if we have received a declaration of war in the past 10 turns or if we have liberated a city in the past 20 turns. And I can guarantee you at some point someone is going to declare war on us and we are going to need to probably uh, build some military very quickly uh, because if I've learned anything in the time that I have uh, been been playing, it's that I have fallen back into the noob mistakes of leaving my military uh, to the last minute, which is not good. Um, we also receive plus three housing in coastal cities, which is cool. Um, pastures trigger a culture bomb, which is also cool. Uh, Yields from campuses, commercial hubs, holy sites, and theater scores are plus one in tiles with charming appeal uh, and plus three in breathtaking. So awesome, awesome. Uh, our unique things for our sieves, our unique sieve traits, uh, diggers, they are our unique unit. It's a modern era unit that replaces our infantry, plus 10 combat strength uh, when fighting on coastal tiles, plus five combat strength when fighting on neutral or foreign territory. Sorry, needed a cup of coffee there. Um, and then we also have the Outback Station, uh, which unlocks the builder ability to construct an Outback Station unique to Australia, so that's pretty cool. Um, it gives plus, plus one food and plus one production, plus one food for adjacent pasture, additional food and production, as you advance through the technology and civics tree uh, for adjacent outback stations and pastures can only be built in desert, desert hills, grassland, and plains tiles. So uh, that's kind of where we are at with that. Um, I'm going to stay on Prince difficulty again because I have fallen back into the noob category. Um, so I'm going to sit here for now till I get my bearings back with me. Um, I am going to go... We don't want Marathon. I think I want Epic, just because um, if you go Standard, I feel like that's almost too slow. 
in ter or too fast in terms of progression. And quite frankly, the historian in me, uh, it hurts when I see like tanks in the 1800s, like mid 1800s or early 1800s. It hurts my heart. Um, I do like the continent map and I do want to go, let's go with a, not a huge map. Let's go, mm, let's go standard for now. Just, just because, um, one thing I do want to change, uh, as you can see, we're going to leave all this the same. Um, I do feel like we don't need as many city states. City states um, do kind of get annoying for me. So I am going to go uh, eight city states there and go from there. Leave everything else the same. Victory conditions, we're going to leave all of them on. Game options, we just did all that. No duplicate civs, obviously. No duplicate leaders. Um, no teams. Uh, I don't want to turn any of that on. Players, I don't want to change anything here. But I do want... I do want to go with... That color for Australia. Because... Too many other players have like that gold and green thing and it would just get confusing. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization, on towards the stars. Prime Minister Curtin, you will lead Australia through challenge after challenge, and your people will emerge all the stronger for it. Others will seek friendship for your strength. If these friends prove loyal, your might and protection will carry you far. But stay vigilant, for aggression is not your natural course. Okay, we are back. I wonder if I can turn these off i have them on because i was learning the controls for uh civ 6 on the switch um and i don't know that i need them anymore so i might go ahead and turn those off here uh off camera sometime maybe after this video um but hello i really like those little uh introduction videos whenever you pick a civ 2 those are awesome uh we already know that Select the triangle icon in the left tray to toggle the minimap. I don't want to. Uh, I already know that. Already know that. Already know that. All right, so let's look around, see what we got first and foremost. Um, so we are in a pretty good position here. Uh, we got some oysters and some crab right here that we can easily take advantage of. Looks like we got horses and sheep nearby, bananas nearby. We got a river right to our south. I think, actually, the game was very, very kind. Very kind uh, to us in terms of... In terms of a starting point. So yes, we will go ahead and put our first city down. Uh, getting our sailing is going to be critical right off the bat for sure. Gaining a city on the coast has given your civilization insight into navigating the waves. Makes sense. Um, I think what we're going to do is... We are going to use our warrior. We aren't going to get too far away right now. We're just going to kind of do a little back and forth circle thing uh, at the moment with our warrior so that we can explore a little bit of the surrounding region. I want to... Yeah, I know that. 
I also know that. Um, we're going to queue up a couple things. First things first, I, I do want to get a slinger made just so that we have... We have some defense uh, for our city, and that'll take nine turns. And then I'll start with a monument right after that, but I think I will probably end up coming back and changing that based on how fast our... Or do I want to build her? I think I want to build her now that I say that. Um... I want to rush our second settler um, fairly quickly. So I might go slinger, builder, settler, then monument, then start worrying about buildings, but we'll see what uh, happens there. I think that's all I need there. So if we go to our science, then our first tech... Animal hus husbandry wouldn't be bad because we have the sheep right there. Pottery wouldn't be terrible. Sailing wouldn't be awful. So I think... I think animal husbandry for now is our better option. Then we'll go into sailing. think that's the way to go and then I keep glancing down at my switch controller because I'm I'm very confused about where Y and X are I keep mixing them up and yeah we already know that our tech is boosted I think that's our first turn out of the way I think we're good so let's go ahead and move forward I guess forward in time we got a mountain right there too that'll be good for a uh, a campus or whatever we decide to do there I already know that tool tips oh Oh, okay. That I didn't know. That was new. Um, okay. Apparently we're on America. Okay. The Australian Empire on the continent of America. Um, the bad part about exploring with your warriors is they don't have a lot of movement speed. I thought I hit X. Did I not? Oh, I did. Okay. Uh, we are on turn three. Ooh, we got some grapes there. That'll be good. And I... Hmm... I kind of want to go up this way because we got some desert up here and our one of our sieve traits was all about like plains, desert, open space, open ground as well as coast and we got some desert tiles here. Okay. Foreign trade. Apparently we're on the continent of Mu. Alright. Sure. Not Mu. Who names their continent Mu? There's some more sheep right there too. Okay. Welcome to the United States of America. Oh, hey. If you conduct yourself well, you can consider us friends. Um. Oh, boy. 
Not so thrilled with you as a neighbor. I do know that Roosevelt is kind of a piece of work in this game. He's not 100% thrilled. You're way up there, though. So that's good. But I don't know if... I don't know. I don't know if. Uh, I also don't know if they have any. I don't know if they have any, um. Cities closer by. Okay, so you... What can I do with you? We almost have a settler. So you, I want you to just kind of chill at home. And we'll go from there. We're kind of blazing through these early turns, I realize that. I th think that's kind of the nature of of Civ right now. Like, especially early in the game, you kind of blitz through your... your early... early stuff. But, yeah. Again, I'm not thrilled that America is so what a grand to us. This must present in the wet season. Okay. Waterfalls in every direction. So what that tells me is we need to come north. And we need to scoop that up, like, as quickly as possible. Like, we need to be up here somewhere. Probably that tile. We'll see what's over here first. Uh, what else do I need? Oh, good. Barbarians are approaching... Probably go home is what we should do. Oh, it's just you. Yep. Okay, so... Silk Texts. Created by a tribal village. It's a relic. Sweet! Gallery? Okay. Sweet. That's cool. Okay. Yes. Alright. I think right there is where we're wanting to go. Uh, one, two, three, four. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think we're okay. Because I think it's five. I think five is the number that you want to kind of avoid. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back here and I want to do a settler first and then we can construct our monument after. Okay. Exit there. How am I doing on time? About 20 minutes. Okay. Um, I want to... I want to get our first... If there are no dogs in heaven, then when I die, I want to go where they went. Amen. Amen. Um, I want to... Have you heal up right there. Okay, and then what did I say? Oops. What did I say on our... I said sailing, didn't I? Yes. Sailing or astrology? Astrology. 
sailing, astrology, or pottery, really, right now. I think we'll go sailing first. That way we can take advantage of the ocean while we got it. Or as quickly as possible, anyhow. Yeah, I know that we're going to be just kind of blitzing through our turns here. Uh, we're already on turn 15. So, I need my warrior to actually come back home once he's all healed up so that he can escort our settler once our settler's done. I do want our our second city down and then we'll go from there. Probably wouldn't hurt to get another military Probably wouldn't get hurt to get extra military ready, to tell you the truth. And like I said, I'm blitzing through these early turns. I get it. It's just there's not a lot to do right now. And maybe that's not good for me. Maybe I'm not doing good things. Uh, maybe I'm messing stuff up. Probably. Probably. Is not wisdom, but authority All right. that makes policies. Um, urban planning because I want more production. I don't. I haven't really looked at our gold. I should probably do that too. Uh, and let's go discipline for now. We haven't fought a lot of barbarians, but that's. That's coming. Yeah, I know. We're gonna build a pasture there. Which helps us. Civics. Craftsmanship. Or foreign trade. We're gonna go foreign trade. I want... Again, that settler is priority. Apparently we can choose a pantheon. Okay. Uh, desert folklore. No. Uh, river goddess. Monument to the Gods. Divine Spark. No. I'm gonna go God of the Sea. Yeah, God of the Sea. That's gonna be our Pantheon. Sweet. How are we compared to everybody? Like, early on, how are we doing? America's leading in science. We suck at science. Oof. Oof. No science for us. Cultural, though? Domination? Eh. Religious? Eh. Alright. Culture might be our way. Culture might be our path to victory here. I haven't really decided yet. Again, you kind of make me nervous up here. Just gonna throw that out there. Um, can I do... I can't really do anything with you right now, can I? No. I kind of rushed you then, didn't I? Eh. Oh, well. We're gonna skip you, I guess. I guess. I mean, not a lot for him to do. I would like our warrior to kind of come this way, because this is where we saw those 
This is where we saw those uh, barbarians earlier. The Great Australian Empire. I'm not going to try an Aussie accent. I would be terrible at it. Not, not, no, not going to do it. Vessel is large, may venture All right, more. sweet. So what that means is now that we have sailing, this guy can do that. And then astrology was next, right? Astrology or pottery or mining. Um, let's go astrology. Let's go astrology. Just because. I think that'll help our... I think that'll help our... Yeah. Words. I don't know that I have a builder anymore now. Actually, now that I've done that. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. He's got one more build in him, and we'll hook up those oysters. We'll come down here. And, yeah, I don't know... I don't know. That's the thing, as I, I don't know. Not sure what I don't know. I'm sure there's a lot of things I don't know. Am I... Yeah, I don't want these to get too long, either. I feel like... Civ is a game that you can very easily end up with a long, long video on. Or not a lot. How's our gold doing? Plus almost 10? Okay. Sweet! Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Look at us go. Okay. Now, I do know that because our... Because our guy settler that's the word because our settler is about done i'm going to need our warrior to kind of hang out fairly close by I probably should do more exploring than what I am. Just for the sake of it. But I'm not gonna right now. So we're gonna put our second city down up by that natural wonder. And I wonder... stay there. I would like to link you up. That's what I want to do. I want to link you guys up. And we are gonna look at what we got up here in terms of city stuff. A physician without a knowledge of astrology has no right to call himself a physician. Okay, so, here we go. First of all, I don't want you. I want you. I want the city. Uh, what are we going to queue up? Let's... Let's do... Let's do another slinger, and then... Build a holy site. Of course. 
Uh, of course, there's a resource right there. Um, that one looks good, though. Plus two. Yeah, let's go here. We're doing fine on money. And we'll build that holy site. That'll be... That'll be good. And then... I don't want that. I want either pottery or mining. I'm thinking... Mining, then pottery. Mining, then pottery. That's going to be the way to go. Mining, then pottery. Ooh, we got some dyes. We got access to water. I think... Okay, hold on. Hold the phone. Uh, we're pretty good if we move. I feel like we should move. Yeah, no, this is fine. This is good. Yeah, this is fine. And then we'll let you kind of hang out there. All right, so we just found Sydney, the Australian Empire, with our American neighbors. It's flourishing, it's thriving. We got two fairly large cities, actually. Um... And, well, one large city and then one just brand new that we just did. Um, but yeah, all in all, things are looking up. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Leave me a comment down below, and I will see you back for more Civ 6. Remember, you don't get older, you level up.